Gloria Vanderbilt Early Life Vanderbilt was born on February 20, 1924, in Manhattan, New York City, the only child of railroad heir Reginald Claypool Vanderbilt, 1880-1925, and his second wife, Gloria Morgan, 1904-1965. When Vanderbilt was born, her father was heard to exclaim in delight, It is fantastic how Vanderbilt she looks. See the corners of her eyes, how they turn up. She was baptized in the Episcopal Church by Bishop Herbert Shipman as Gloria Laura Vanderbilt. After her father's death, she was confirmed and raised in the Catholic Church, to which her mother belonged. From her father's first marriage to Kathleen Nielsen, she had a half-sister, Kathleen Vanderbilt, 1904-1944. When Vanderbilt was 18 months old, she and her half-sister became heiresses to a half-share each in a $5 million trust fund, equivalent to $71 million in 2018 value, upon their father's death from cirrhosis. The rights to control Vanderbilt's share while she was a minor belonged to her mother, who traveled to and from Paris for years, taking her daughter with her. They were accompanied by a beloved nanny, Emma Sullivan Kieslick, whom young Gloria had named Dodo who would play a tumultuous part in the child's life, and her mother's identical twin sister, Thelma, who was the mistress of the Prince of Wales, later Edward VIII, during this time. As a result of her spending habits, her mother's use of finances was scrutinized by the child's paternal aunt, Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. A sculptor and philanthropist, Whitney wanted custody of her niece, which resulted in a custody trial. The trial was so scandalous that at times the judge would make everyone leave the room so as to listen to what young Vanderbilt had to say without anyone influencing her. Some people heard weeping and wailing inside the courtroom. Testimony was heard depicting Vanderbilt's mother as an unfit parent, including an allegation from a maid of a lesbian affair with a member of the British royal family. Vanderbilt's mother lost the battle and Vanderbilt became the ward of her aunt Gertrude. Litigation continued, however. Vanderbilt's mother was forced to live on a drastically reduced portion of her daughter's trust, which was worth more than $4 million at the end of 1937, equivalent to $70 million in 2018 value. Visitation was also closely watched to ensure that Vanderbilt's mother did not exert any undue influence upon her daughter with her supposedly raucous lifestyle. Vanderbilt was raised amidst luxury at her aunt Gertrude's mansion in Old Westbury, Long Island, surrounded by cousins her age who lived in houses circling the vast estate, and in New York City. The story of the trial was told in the 1980 Barbara Goldsmith book Little Gloria. Happy at last in a 1982 NBC miniseries based on it which was nominated for six Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. Actress Jennifer Dundas played Gloria. Vanderbilt attended the Greenvale School on Long Island, Miss Porter's School in Farmington, Connecticut, and then the Wheeler School in Providence, Rhode Island, as well as the Art Students League in New York City, developing the artistic talent for which she would become increasingly known during her career. When Vanderbilt came of age and took control of her trust fund, she cut her mother off entirely, though they later reconciled. Her mother died in Los Angeles in 1965.